So, you guys, we have a very special guest in studio with us today. I know you noticed already because she's yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Delaney. Hi, Delaney. Hi. How old are you, Delaney? I'm 17. 17. Oh, oh I remember 17. <laughs> yeah, you calm down now. Oh, man. Believe it or not, I can still remember 17. Yeah, we all can. <laughs> what were you doing like at yesterday? 17? You were a senior in high school, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I graduated high yeah. school. That was a good year. And you're a senior in high school, Delaney? No, I'm actually a junior. You're a junior? junior. I'm a junior. I okay. skipped the grade. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Delaney. Yeah, yeah you're fine. <laughs> So you've listened to the show since you were little. Yeah, I always called in. I was like, listen to this song or something. And I never got it like in. And yeah. so my sister was really upset. Oh, well, you got in. Well, well now, you're, now, you're now you're in. Now, now you're, I'm in. Now you're, now you're in. whatever you want. So how do you feel? Like, um, you get to see us now. I'm nervous. Why? A little nervous? You're nervous. Yeah. Wait, no. well, what before nervous? we went on the air, you were saying that it's interesting to put faces with voices, right? Yes, yes it is. So and you never looked us up online or anything? Mm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Hey, you can holler on like Instagram or Twitter. Yeah. I probably will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And you said I'm the most shocking of all of the faces in the room. She said that off air. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, Al. Uh, <laughs> what, what's so please, shocking please about please Al? Explain. I think by shocking, she meant disappointing. Oh. <laughs> well, just like, I couldn't expect him with a beard or... A, that whole like facial hair uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You like it? You dig it? I, I dig it. Okay. <laughs> right. the glasses. I didn't. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's better to that. see you. With and my Al, beard. big Al, everyone always says they think he's going to be bigger, but now he's lost all this weight mm -hmm. in a weight loss challenge. Hello. So now, now he's little Al. Hello. He's pretty average, right? Yeah, yeah he's average. Yeah. Average Al. <laughs> average Al. Yeah, thanks. He just doesn't have the flow as like big Al, so we can't change it. It's on all the literature. Right. Yeah. So the rest of us match uh, what we look like in your head? Um, Not you. Um, I was just listening to that um, woman that called you from high school. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I was just kind of like, oh, I didn't know he was like, Mexican. Mexican or yeah. anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can't tell either. We look at him every day and we're like, so no. You say it. So, so that you say it. What, what did you think I was? White. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you see his opening? His eyes are open. What? I wasn't opening my eyes. I was just looking at her. I was looking at Delaney. That's all I was doing. Well, let's talk about Delaney. Trying to give her white eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't giving her white eyes. I was just giving her eyes. White guy eyes. And that's about white us, eyes. you guys. Yeah. Uh, you're here for a reason, Delaney. Do you know why? Um. Yes, because y'all read something. Thing that my mom sent in about what happened to me. Uh, your mom, yeah. MLK. I so think. we have this thing called I, it was I Have a Dream Week mm -hmm. during Martin Luther King around the holiday. Yeah, and uh, we decided to turn it into something that we do sporadically throughout the year. Yeah, and little uh, surprises all year long. Yeah, and and your mom sent us a letter and and it really hit home because you know it, it was beautifully written and you've gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind, Kelly's gonna read what the letter has. Sure. In it, just so okay. you know what your mom wrote about you. It's very nice. And flattering. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Delaney is a 17-year-old, six-foot, left-handed volleyball player who dreams of a college career just like any other serious athlete. Unlike others, however, Delaney has more than a competitive market to overcome. In November 2014, she and a close friend were involved in a bonfire accident. Both children suffered extensive burns ranging from two, second to third degrees over their bodies. Unfortunately, Delaney lost her friend shortly after the accident. Now, during her recovery, Delaney had to learn how to walk again. And with most of her face affected by the fire, she had to learn to see the world from a different set of eyes. Despite her odds, volleyball called her to recovery. She amazed people when she was back on the court within two months mm. of her accident, ready to achieve her dream. As you can imagine, she's fallen behind due to missing school and her physical ability. In order for her to catch up and stay competitive, she needs help with private coaching and funds to hire a recruitment firm who can tell her story. She's a remarkable child who has suffered so much, but still is chasing her dream. So your mom has a dream Beautiful. that you will fulfill your dream. Is that the yes. first time you heard the letter? Um, no, that's the second. She read it tonight just uh, so I could. Just oh, so you'd so you be ready yeah. for it. <laughs> Good. Because it's emotional stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's it probably, hasn't been that long. Yeah. Mm -mm. No. It was two years ago when the bonfire accident happened. It's going to be two years in November. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you guys were just hanging out, having a party? Yeah, we were just kind of like all friends and it was like five of us and we were just sitting around a bonfire uh -huh. and my friend decided like oh the fire is like going out so he just grabbed a gas can and started oh, pouring no. it on just to make it mm -hmm. relight it basically yeah and i don't think he was thinking that much because you don't really think like it's yeah. gonna explode or anything yeah. so when he was doing it it came back up into the gas can and mm. it just like exploded. exploded onto oh me and him. Gosh. Oh, I didn't know I was on fire until someone said it because they were like screaming. They were like, oh, my gosh, she's on fire. Put her out. And mm -hmm. so I stopped, dropped and rolled, which I learned in first grade. Yeah. Yeah. So, See, you do end up using like, it sometimes. 
Yeah. From our understanding, and we work with kids' kids, and we've had kids in the past that have been burned. Mm -hmm. Being burned is one of the most painful things that could happen to you. The mm -hmm. healing process, the scarring, all that. Two months later or a month later, you're back on the court. Yes, I had to learn how to walk again. And I was also burned on my left hand, which you can't tell. No. Yeah. But I had to learn how to just even like move my fingers mm -hmm. and walk to the bathroom was hard. I couldn't mm. sit down. I had to keep my legs straight. And it was just really hard. The rehab was awful because I just felt like I could never get back to running or even like fast walking. So yeah. Especially as a competitive athlete. Mm -hmm. I know oh, what yeah. that's like. I played soccer in school and that's yeah. all you want to do in yeah. dreams of a college career. But you're still playing volleyball mm -hmm. every day, all the time. I am. Volleyball like has taken over my life because of Good it. For you. You're on your high school yeah. team? Yes. I play high school and I also play club. Okay. Yeah. And you've been and you've been using your story to inspire other teams. Yes. How so what, what have you been doing? You, you you go to the burn unit? I want to go to the burn unit. I wanted to go to Shriner. Uh -huh. I think that's it in mm -hmm. Houston. Mm -hmm. And I wanted just to talk to like girls who are in their early teens or like 10 or so, 10 to 16, just mm -hmm. so they know like what I've been through and how to just like kind of overcome it. Yeah. And just like at school, like some people look at me and they're just kind of like, wow, like what she's been through is just like something that's not, not like something I've been through. And so when I'm having like a bad day or when they're having a bad day, sorry, when they're having a bad day, they just look at me and they're just kind of like, wow, Delaney, like you've been through so much in my days, not even compared right. to anything you've been Amen. through. Well, I'll tell you, you know, especially teenage girls, everything's yeah. about appearance mm -hmm. and how you look oh, yeah. and your selfie filters. And I'll tell you the honest truth. When you first walk in, you see your scars at first, mm -hmm. but then the more you talk to you, you, you stop seeing them. You're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. interesting? Yeah. How they just kind yeah. of like, you just stop seeing them yeah. because yeah. you're getting to know the person yeah. behind the, mm -hmm. behind the scars. That's and, interesting. And Delaney, two years later, almost two years later, are you still, you're still getting, getting treatment, right? Yes. What do you have to do? Um, well, right now I'm just doing laser surgery. That's the only treatment I've been doing. Uh -huh. And I mean, that hurts a lot, but it's nothing to what I've been through. Yeah. It hurts for a day. And yeah. then I'm yeah. just kind of like, okay, I'm going to go out and hang out with my friends. Yeah. 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 What, what hurts more, your laser treatment or your tattoo that you got? <gasps> uh, what? Yeah. It's a good reason, Kelly. What? It's a fine She's tattoo. Only 17. Yeah. Mom, Mom will let you get one, right? Yeah, she did. Welcome to the club. First of all, uh, no yeah. more. That's uh, yeah, it. Welcome, yeah, welcome to the club. It's not a Justin yeah. Bieber tattoo, is it? No. Oh, what, what is it? What's your it's tattoo? It's Jeremiah 30, 17. I love okay. that verse. Yes, it says, for I will restore health to you and heal your wounds, declared the Lord. Uh -huh. And so I got that with my mom because it. my friend put it in my room when I was in the hospital. And every time I'd cry or get upset, my doctors would come in or like my burn unit nurses would come in and they'd be like, Look at this, and God's with you, and He will heal heal your wounds no matter what. Amen. And so I just kind of like overcame a lot because of that poster, and it's still in my room because of it. It means a lot to you. See, mm -hmm. that's a good reason to get a tattoo. See, All Kelly, right. where is yeah. it? Something that will always it's have meaning. Lower back? No. Um, no. Okay. On your ribs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I wouldn't want a Bible verse See? with a tramp stamp. That's that where would mine not is. Yeah. 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 It is a good and, spot. And it's on the it's on the left rib cage, so when she's spiking it down, yeah. on the yeah. that might be. You know what I mean? Fine. I was like, a Bible verse that might there might be good. Because that makes me like, wait, wait. wait oh, yeah. Kelly, Kelly, that. Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching that with a ten foot pole. So, so back to the volleyball. You do have aspirations to play in college. Yes, that's, I that's do. your ultimate dream. Yes. Um. So. I can't teach you to play volleyball. Oh, Lord, you. I've only played volleyball once, and I broke my pinky. You know, Kelly's <laughs> scared. She's not good. scared of balls. Let's be honest. Kelly's scared of balls. Yeah. She's not going to get around And it. I'm tall. Everybody assumed I should. Yeah. Mm -mm, no. I've, I've played on some volleyball teams, actually, JC, before Ugh. you get around. I, you I, brought the beer for I everybody did. else. I brought the beer. But, you didn't uh, play. Al's as athletic as a pole. I and always <laughs> wanted to play volleyball at my high school because those girls wore such cute shorts. shorts. They looked so good they compared to my dumpy soccer <laughs> yeah. uniform I had to wear. You could have been a setter, Jenna. You could have probably actually played. Wish. I love volleyball. You could have set up Delaney. But <laughs> nobody in the studio yeah. is, is going to be able to coach you or help you out with that. So we have a special guest that's going to be <laughs> helping you with Delaney, this. Delaney, this is very exciting. So that we can make your dream come true. Please enter a special guest. <laughs> mm. Coming into the studio mm -hmm. is an Olympic sprinter who uh, star. has four Olympic gold medals, eight world championships. 
Oh my God! He was elected to the Hall of Fame How in 2004. This it's good is to meet you. Mr. Michael good Johnson, good the you. fastest man in the world. Yes. How's it going? What's up, my man? Mr. Johnson. Oh. Came in to try to clean it up in here a little bit. Yeah. 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 I know. Stamp stamps. <laughs> with the minor here, so come in here. We, we can just talk about sports. You yeah. Know, just clean it up a little bit. That's my man, Michael. Oh, right now there. I'm embarrassed. Uh. <laughs> so, so it was funny though. It was funny. So, Michael, tell us about your your performance studio that you have for yeah so i started michael johnson performance uh nine years ago we we're in uh in mckinney up at craig ranch yeah and what we do is train athletes and help athletes reach their potential and accomplish their goals and it's not it's just for running because that's your specialty it is it's in all sports we work with athletes in all sports so we work with probably some of your competitors <laughs> yes. uh, we work with uh volleyball teams and clubs around the city Track and field clubs and teams, a lot of soccer teams and clubs, a lot of the high schools. So we work with all the Frisco schools. Okay. Um, and then we, we train professional athletes. Right. Uh, we're official training partners, oh, uh, Cowboys. In the, and in the end, sports is sports. I mean, you still do the same movements in every single sport. You need you need explosion. You need all that speed. And you help all of them. Look at you. you know, I, <laughs> so, so, Michael, let me ask you. Uh, we like I to pretend high, like we're still professional athletes. I played high school football. Oh, wow. Y'all have so much in common. It's all about movement. about movement. So, right. about yeah. movement. so yeah. speed, strength, power, agility. So, obviously, jumping is important for you. And mm. explosive power is important for you. So, multi-directional movement, power and strength. So, you can show off that tattoo when you're yeah. <laughs> you know. There so, you yeah, go. we do all of that. And then nutrition, consulting, wow. mental skills training, all of that sort of well, thing. Well, Mr. Johnson, that's very interesting. But I'd love to hear more about JC's high school football career. <laughs> <laughs> One day you and I will go out okay. and I will tell you all, all right. about the bench and Maybe how next, wonderful it is. We'll save another break for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's <sighs> awesome. So, you can take her, like, under your wing and just give her all of the training and, and whatnot that she needs to be the baddest be a volleyball player out there. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Our staff was just extremely excited when we read your letter, uh, the letter from your mother, and and thought, you know, we could help. And so uh, when these guys called us, we jumped at the chance. So our coaches are just waiting for you Great. to come walk through our door so they can get their hands on you and <laughs> and increase that power and strength. And we got we got relationships with recruiting services as well, so we can get your story wow. out there to all of the different uh, colleges and wow, and get you playing. Volleyball in college. That's, that's, a, that's a life awesome. changer. Awesome. Seal yeah. of approval. That means got yeah. gold medal. Yeah. Delaney, that's worth deal. something. Are you it being is. quiet? Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just keeping it all in. Uh, I'm not trying to. <laughs> you're going to be the next freak out. Misty yeah. May trainer. Is that right? who it is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Michael, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jesse. Yeah. Um, I, am I past my window of being able to play anything, uh, <laughs> anything. Uh, Michael? Because I yeah, when does an athlete hit his prime? I, I, I kind of broke the stereotype as far as brothers concerned between me and you. Right, right. I'm not as athletic as a lot of brothers are. So uh, I was wondering if it was I anything, beat him in the forty. Let's anything, just say that yeah. you could do for me. Well, we can make anybody better. Okay, so, but you have to have something to work with. Uh, what was your so forty we can time? Make anybody better? A five so even flat? with your forty time, like say for example, we can make you run a faster forty. We can make you faster. Right. You're probably not gonna be fast. So we can make you faster. <laughs> <laughs> you can. We can, and we can help you play something. You said something, something. so we can play. Right. Well, speaking of fast, I mean, you still hold. You yeah. still hold world records that have not been broken, right? Yes, I Which do. Which is the four hundred? The four hundred. The four hundred. Yeah. Is there more than just that one, or is that the one that's still I held the touch? 200, but that was broken by uh, Usain Bolt. Oh, oh, that guy. Insane. Now, we have the summer, <laughs> with the summer Olympics. I mean, do you still keep up with the with the track and yeah, field? Yeah, I do. I do. So, Summer Olympics, yeah, are coming up uh, in August. And yeah. uh, so, we work with a lot of the Olympic athletes, Paralympic athletes as well, that we have out at the center. So, we provide support for those guys, um, and they're, it's, you know, Six, seven months now. Do you foresee uh, your 400 record being beaten anytime soon? Um, I don't think it'll get broken anytime soon. Um, there were a couple of athletes last year that I, I think had the possibility, um, the, the potential. But it's very difficult to do. Um, they say it's the hardest never, track race, you never, right? You never know. It, it is. It's very yeah. difficult. Um, but... You just never know. It could happen. You still got those gold happen. shoes, though? I do. I know yeah. you do. You still wear them? Can I borrow them? So cool. Can you borrow them? I, I, I don't wear them anymore. <laughs> yeah. no, no. We got Michael Johnson in the studio. He's helping us with an I Have a Dream for Delaney. And you're actually going to, you're, you're getting into beach volley, volleyball, right? Yes, I am. Potentially Olympian one day, Michael. Yes. Absolutely. It's an Olympic sport. And uh, 
we have the beach right next to us, the volleyball club, uh, where they have uh, all of the volleyball, uh, sand volleyball. Oh, pits. that's awesome. So we can hook you up that's over awesome. there, too. Yeah. 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 It just we keeps getting better and better. everything for you, Delaney. <laughs> what else you need? <laughs> um, we got you. A date for prom? I need 400. Uh, you need a date for prom? <laughs> yeah, I need a date for prom. There you go. All right. All right. And you're six foot. Uh, you're six foot. So, yes. okay. We need yeah, we'll find you an athlete. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we need a six foot one guy. She's going to meet right. new people. She's going to meet new people at the performance well, center as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got lots of kids out there training every day, so you'll meet new people. Perfect. We're looking forward wow. to it. Well, anybody, if anybody there. wants to find out about how they're, maybe they have a student athlete and they want your expertise, I mean, you, you go to michaeljohnsonperformance.com. All of our program information is there. You'll find it in phone numbers to call our sales team um, or come by. Just stop by. We're uh, we're uh, on Alma Drive, right off 121. In I don't know where you are. Right? And do you have to audition, or can you just you just accept? You have to be good enough to be accepted to like your... summer camps and stuff no, like that. No, 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 no. Everybody's good enough. Our Everybody focus is... is on athletes being the best that they can right. be. So again, we can make you. Are you all right? Isn't there an age <laughs> limit? Michael. You don't look that fast. <laughs> but, <laughs> he's not. But we can make you faster. But there's got to so be no. an age limit. Come on. So yeah. it's, it's age, our youth programs are age 9 to 18, okay. and our focus is on helping them be the best they can be. This is not about making the next, you know, superstar athlete. So we have kids and parents who come to us saying, hey, my kid's thinking about trying out for a sport. Well, come on in. We'll help him gain that confidence. Oh, and okay. We'll get them faster and, and okay. stronger so that they can try out for the sport and have a better chance. So we've got athletes of all ranges. I'm all asking right. for a friend. Could a 30-year-old man go in there just <laughs> train for his flag football league so he could dominate? <laughs> we He'll hang up and we listen. We can help you out, bro. I mean, your friend. Yeah, my friend. Yeah. I think if you pay JC, he'll help you <laughs> <Yeah>. with anything. <laughs> Delaney, are you so excited right now? I am so excited. We're this good. is just amazing. Good. When do we start working, Michael? Yeah. Soon? As soon as you can get there. We are ready. Everybody's just waiting for you to arrive. That's awesome. Right. That's awesome. And we'll, awesome. We'll hit you up for updates. We want pictures. We want video. Yeah. We want 40 Every, times. Everything. Alan, how good is the 40 again? You don't need to run the 40. Just 100, maybe even 10. Michael Johnson, thank you so much for helping Delaney. Great meeting you. Michael Johnson, everybody. MichaelJohnsonPerformance.com if you want to get all the information. Give it up for Delaney, too. Yeah. The next future of volleyball. And to Delaney's mom for writing the letter.